In the Saw Arn Institute in Estonia, an art therapy instructor named Anna arrives. While Dr. Novotny tells her about their security procedures, a nurse suddenly warns him that Lena is missing. Immediately, they lock down the institute to find her. Novotny tells Anna that Lena is their most dangerous patient and is why their previous art therapist is gone. He locks Anna into the art room, instructing her not to leave until Lena is found. As the lights flash red, Anna looks around and finds a little girl drawing. She greets her, and the girl shows her a drawing she made of Anna, surprising the woman. Anna asks for her name, so the girl stands up, grasping a pencil in her hand and introduces herself as Lena. Anna immediately becomes frightened, but fortunately, Novotny arrives with two orderlies. Lena raises her hand in surrender, revealing the sharp pencil. After she's taken away, Novotny clarifies to Anna that Lena isn't a child. Lena suffers from proportional dwarfism, thus halting her growth. In truth, Lena is 31 years old and is an exceptional con artist. Soon, Anna begins working with the patients. While Lena is painting, she shows a piece of candy to another patient, Iti, triggering her into getting aggressive. The orderlies restrain the woman, but as soon as Lena tosses the candy to her, she calms down. One evening, Lena receives a package from one of the guards, Dimitri. Lena opens the package, and Dimitri watches her dance around with the dress he gave her. Lena then invites him inside, promising to do something nice for him. Tempted, Dimitri steps in, and Lena pulls up a chair to caress his face. However, she slams his head against the wall, killing him. She then collects her things and exits her room using Dimitri's badge. She dodges the orderlies around, but the guard at the lobby spots her. Still, Lena giggles as Itti is hanging out nearby. By tempting her with candy, Lena slips away as Itti attacks the guard for her. She then turns the security cameras off and tosses candy to Itti before making her escape. Outside, Anna prepares to go home when she finds Lena in front of her car. Scared, Anna runs back to the institute. Later, she and Novotny discover how Lena escaped. They've already called the police to search for Lena, but Anna decides to quit out of fear. Anna drives home, but as she's unlocking her apartment, the trunk of her car suddenly opens. She checks but finds it empty, so she closes it back. However, when she returns to her apartment, Lena is already there to kill her. Using Anna's laptop, Lena searches for girls reported missing in America and chooses one that looks like her, Esther Albright, who's been missing for four years. With her plan set, Lena puts on the dress Dimitri gave her and writes the name Esther in her Bible. She then goes to a playground where an officer finds her. When asked where her parents are, Lena claims that she's Esther. In Connecticut, Trisha and Alan Albright watch their son, Gunner, compete at a fencing match. After winning his match, Gunner tells his parents that he has plans with his friends. On their way to their car, Alan complains that Gunner is always having fun, but Trisha sees this as their son living his life. Seeing him grow quiet, Trisha reminds him not to dwell on Esther, who isn't coming back. Suddenly, they see Detective Donnan waiting for them. Soon, Trisha arrives in Moscow, where she learns from Officer Leahy that Esther claimed that she was abducted and taken to Russia by a woman who passed her off as her daughter. However, Esther hasn't said any other information due to the trauma. Finally, Trisha sees Lena posing as Esther, who runs into her arms. On the way back to America, Trisha happily shows Lena family photos. When she shows a photo of their grandmother, Lena comments that she's excited to see her. However, Trisha reminds her that their grandmother passed away before she disappeared. Lena excuses herself but pretends to mistake the galley for the restroom to steal a liquor bottle. In the restroom, Lena drinks the liquor and berates herself for her slip-up about the grandmother. At the airport, Trisha tidies up Lena to prepare her to meet Alan and Gunner. When she reaches for her choker, Lena suddenly grabs her arm. Thinking she's just afraid, Trisha apologizes. Upon seeing her, Alan embraces Lena tightly, convinced that she's Esther. They immediately go home and show her Esther's old room. When Lena mentions that she likes to paint, the parents are confused since Esther wasn't interested in it before. Still, Alan is happy as he's an artist. Trisha then explains that they'll see Esther's doctor tomorrow, mentioning that the doctor had a parrot named Sydney to trigger her memory. Once alone, Lena marvels at how she'd chosen such a wealthy family to sneak herself into. The next day, Lena meets Dr. Seeger. Lena insists that she's not ready to talk about what happened and changes the topic by insisting on playing with the parrot, Sydney. After her session, Seeger invites Trisha to talk alone. Lena is left with a boy who's also there to see the therapist. Quickly, Lena goes to the receptionist and pretends to spill her drink accidentally. The receptionist heads down to get a janitor to clean the mess, allowing Lena to listen in on Seeger's and Trisha's conversation via the intercom. Seeger mentions that Lena called her parrot Sydney when it's a new bird with completely different feathers from her old pet. She thinks the girl's actions felt more like a performance. As she's listening, Lena spots the boy from the waiting room sneaking in. Seeger and Trisha suddenly hear screaming, so they rush outside and find Lena claiming that the boy hit her. 
While leaving the facility, Lena notices Donan taking pictures of her. Alan later takes Lena to his studio. She notices lights around and Alan reminds her that it's a secret. Using black light, a new layer to his paintings is revealed to show its hidden message. She notices a covered canvas, only to find that it's Alan's evidence board about Esther's disappearance. Lena notices a news clip about Donan, but Alan avoids her questions about him. Instead, Alan invites her to paint, and Lena chooses to draw him. Soon, Alan checks Lena's drawing and is amazed by her skill. While he goes to get paint, Lena touches her drawing of Alan's lips before touching hers. She then feels someone watching her, so when she turns, Trisha closes the curtains, having been watching them through the window. That evening, Lena puts a bandage over her chest to hide her physique when she hears Trisha coming into the bedroom. Trisha picks up her Bible, but Lena immediately snatches it away, claiming that it's private. Trisha apologizes and excuses that she was just looking for her watch. After she leaves, Lena looks around Esther's old toys and discovers a hidden compartment under the dollhouse. Inside, Lena finds Esther's journal. During dinner, Donan visits to welcome Esther back. Lena excuses herself to the kitchen but hides behind the doorway to eavesdrop. Donan insists on hearing Esther's testimony in case her abductor is still out there, so he claims that Seeger has agreed to have a group discussion about it. Later that evening, Lena packs a bag with Trisha's watch and money, thinking her cover will be blown during their discussion. While walking away from the house, however, she notices Alan working in his studio and decides to stay. The following day, Trisha checks her phone for Esther's photos, noting how Esther had a mole above her eyebrow. Later, while Trisha prepares for her gala, Alan offers to join her. This makes his wife happy, feeling like she got her husband back after Esther returned. In the heat of the moment, the two start making love, not knowing that Lena is watching them. Jealous, she tears Trisha's dress and by the time they look, she's already gone. Soon, the parents head out, leaving Gunnar in charge of the house. However, he throws a party with his friends while Lena is stuck in her bedroom. While Gunnar complains about Esther's new behaviors, Lena suddenly appears behind him. He orders her back to her bedroom, but Lena curses at him. The doorbell rings, so Gunnar goes to answer the door, finding Donan there. Gunnar asks him not to tell his parents about his party, and the detective agrees, but asks to use the restroom before he leaves. Instead, however, he checks Lena's bedroom for fingerprints. Spotting them on her vinyl record, he takes it, but Lena sees him leaving. Quickly, she checks under the dollhouse and sees that her Bible is still there. However, she sees the vinyl missing, so she slams her Bible over the phonograph out of anger. Lena then turns on the shower and grabs her coat. When Trisha checks in on her later, she hears the shower running and assumes that she's taking a bath. Noticing Lena's Bible, Trisha flips through the pages and finds a photo of her with Alan, but her face has been drawn over. Concerned, Trisha checks further and finds the news clip about Donan, with his address written on the top. After seeing the Sa'arn Institute stamp on the Bible, Trisha checks on her supposed daughter only to find the shower empty. At Donan's home, he compares Lena's fingerprints from the vinyl to Esther's and sees that it doesn't match. Suddenly, he hears the door opening, so Donan checks but finds nothing wrong. Still suspicious, he returns to his desk and places his gun on the table. However, as Donan reads Esther's profile, Lena stabs him. She questions how Donan figured out she's not Esther when not even Trisha knew, but Donan coughs up that Trisha does know. Just then, someone shoots Donan in the chest. Lena turns and finds Trisha firing more bullets into the detective. Later, Trisha learns who Lena really is, though she questions why she didn't just rob them and leave. Lena asks to let her go, but Trisha refuses to have Esther disappear twice. Mournfully, Trisha admits that Esther never disappeared. Gunnar was always too rough on his little sister, and one night, he went too far. She asserts that she loved Esther, but she's still Gunnar's mother and couldn't bear to surrender the only child she had left. Aiming a gun at Lena, Trisha orders her to not let Alan find out the truth as Lena is her answer to keep her family intact. Trisha reminds her that she chose to con her family, so now she has to play her part. Otherwise, she'll send her back to Estonia. With no other choice, Lena helps Trisha dump Donan's body. Then, Trisha composes an email using Donan's laptop to make it seem like he's on vacation. At home, Trisha reveals everything to Gunnar. Gunnar refuses to live with a psychopath, wondering if they can just get rid of her. However, Trisha insists on keeping an eye on Lena until the time is right. The next day, while Alan teaches Gunnar how to use a crossbow, Trisha scolds Lena for talking to Seeger's parent, thus making the therapist suspicious. During the meeting, Seeger advises them to focus on their good memories to help Esther acclimate back into her life. Alan mentions their Christmas in Paris, and Lena chimes in, describing their trip in great detail. This convinces Seeger that Lena is Esther. One day, Trisha helps bandage Lena's chest to prepare her to meet some family friends. She also buys new dresses for Lena and instructs her on how to act like the real Esther. During the gathering, the visitors watch Lena play the piano and talk about being back with her family. After the day, Lena hides in her bedroom, but Gunnar confronts her. 
He establishes that she doesn't belong in his house or family, so he insists that he owns Lena now. Pissed, Lena slaps him. Gunnar threatens to kill her like he did Esther, but Lena slaps him again. He laughs as he can call the Institute to take her back, but Lena threatens to reveal the truth about Esther's death. However, Gunnar doubts she can convince anyone given that she came from a psychiatric facility. Later, Trisha mixes sleeping pills into Lena's dinner to keep her docile. While eating, Alan invites Lena to join him in his new art exhibit, but Trisha claims that they already have plans. Suspicious, Lena excuses herself, but Trisha insists that she take her dinner with her. In her bedroom, however, Lena gives her dinner to a rat in her room. Alan later invites her to paint with them, and Trisha spots them together. Lena then kisses Alan's paint-covered hand, which Trisha notices. Alan soon calls it a night, so Lena continues painting alone. Suddenly, Trisha confronts her, figuring out that Lena stayed to seduce Alan. She mockingly points out that it won't work since he thinks she's his daughter, so she announces that she'll go sleep with her husband now. After Trisha leaves, Lena plays with the black light tearfully. Later that night, Lena notices that the rat in her room died after eating her dinner. This confirms to Lena that her pretend mother is out to get her. The next day, they find Lena cooking breakfast. Suspicious, Trisha opts to make her breakfast smoothie instead, only to find that Lena has already made one for her. Trisha refuses, but Alan insists that she try it for their daughter's sake. She takes a sip, but secretly dumps the rest on the sink, only to discover the dead rat in the drink. Trisha keeps herself from throwing up upon the sight, and just flushes the rat into the garbage disposal. At the train station where Alan will board to head to his exhibit, Lena spots Gunnar and Trisha on the opposite platform. With an idea in mind, Lena heads there just as the train approaches. Hardly, she comes up behind them, but a passerby blocks her path. After Alan boards the train, Trisha pulls Lena's hair, knowing that she just tried to kill them. Suddenly, Lena pulls Trisha's bag as she tries to run away. During the struggle, Trisha ends up throwing the bag, so Lena swoops in and takes her pepper spray, which she uses on Gunner. Lena runs away with Trisha's keys and hops into her car, locking the door before Trisha reaches her. Flipping the woman off, Lena then drives off. Finally free, Lena puts on lipstick and sunglasses from the glove compartment and lights a cigarette. However, she catches the attention of an officer, who immediately identifies her as Esther. That evening, the officer brings Lena home. She quickly heads upstairs, but Trisha and Gunner follow her and apprehend her. Trisha plots to make it look like she killed herself, but Lena spits on her face and elbows Gunner to escape. Gunner captures her at the stairs and throws her down, hoping the fall will kill her. Trisha sees this, but before she can do something, Alan calls her. The police called him about Esther running away, but she assures him that Esther is fine. However, Gunner quietly warns his mother that Lena has disappeared. Trisha orders her son to finish her while she calms her husband down, who's insisting on coming home. Gunner grabs his fencing sword as he searches for Lena. Hearing them in the studio, he looks around, but Lena appears with his crossbow. She shoots him before stabbing him with his own fencing sword. Trisha freezes in shock upon seeing her son murdered. Lena runs, but she chases her into the kitchen, accidentally switching on a stove during their struggle. Lena throws her off, but Trisha grabs a knife and swings it at her. Still, Lena smashes a plate on her head, allowing her to steal the knife. However, Trisha knocks it off her hands and slams her head against the floor. She then throws her over the counter but loses sight of her. Lena hurries back into her room while Trisha grabs a knife, unaware of the fire in her kitchen that spreads quickly. Trisha corners Lena, so she climbs out the window and up the trellis. Trisha follows her but loses her knife when she tries to stab Lena. Soon, Alan sees the burning house and heads inside to save his family. During this, Trisha reaches Lena but they both slide off the roof. Alan finds them hanging on the gutter, so he goes to save them. Immediately, Lena tries to get his sympathy, while Trisha reveals the truth to keep him from saving the con artist. However, Trisha loses her grip and falls, cracking her skull on the curb. Alan pulls Lena up as he mourns for his wife. Emotionally, Alan caresses his supposed daughter's face when her dentures fall off, revealing her real teeth. Lena begs that she did everything so they could be together, but he calls her a monster. Instinctively, she pushes him, causing Alan to fall off the roof and die next to his wife. Finally, the fire department arrives. Lena fixes herself in her room and saunters downstairs amidst the flames, ready to appear as the rescued little girl. Soon, Seeger discusses how Esther lost her family in the fire with Leahy. The therapist has signed her up at a reputable adoption agency, so Esther can be adopted into a new loving home. Thus, Lena continues her role as an innocent girl who's now an orphan. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications. And leave a like it really helps the channel out. Thank you for watching.